All right, so here's what we got. I don't know if you guys saw the video of my install, but when I got this hood, it was nowhere near as bad as it is now. It's got all kinds of spots. Clear as peeling. Literally just peeling right off. Um, so what, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to sand this entire top layer off. The... Alright guys, so all I've done at this point, I wish I could have got it on video. I took an air blower with an air compressor and just blew the hood all over and 75% of the clear just blew off on its own. So we're going to sand it. I'm thinking we're going to have to re-clear it. I don't think buffing it is going to do anything. Uh, but we're just uh, bagging the car up now so we don't get dust on literally everything. Um, but yeah, so we're just about to start sanding now. So we had a chip in the carbon, the original resin that was on top of the carbon. So we filled it up with some clear uh, epoxy and now we're sanding that smooth. This one sucks because it kind of dried lumpy. But over here we had another one where this actually uh, laid kind of flat. So we just sanded over that. Then we're going to hit it with the DA. What we're doing is removing all the clear that's on the hood and this little spot right here and then a couple of itty bitty spots over here are all that remain. So we have taken off all of the clear with 320 grit. Then we're going to hit it with 400, then we're going to hit it with 600, and then we're going to spray it. So we hit it with 320, got all the old clear off, hit it with 400, and then hit it with 600, and then washed it with a glass cleaner, like a foaming glass cleaner in a can, specifically this right here. So wiped it down with that real good. Apparently that's what body shops are using nowadays, according to the professional. <laughs> so now we're going to take the hood off and spray it with clear. This is coat number one. That looks beautiful, better than when I got it. All right, so here it is. It's been about a day and a half of this sitting here, just curing because we couldn't bake it. And it looks really good. There's a lot of dirt in the paint, which we kind of expected. You can kind of see if you look in the light. Um, but that's not really a big deal. Um, wet sand and buff will probably take care of 90% of that. But this hood looks even better than when I bought it, because I did buy it used. And I wanted to show this side here where we had to fill it with 
resin right here because we had to cut off the hood pin and cut into the carbon you cannot even tell there's literally no indication that there was ever anything there um, same thing over here where we had that really nasty chip taking out the windshield sprayer you can see a little bit right there but with the windshield sprayer on you're not even going to see that but man it looks really good so uh, the only thing is we did not spray the uh, the hood scoop trim and now holding these two next to each other the, the scoop trim it looks really dull compared to you know the hood with a fresh clear on it so I'm gonna have to uh, buff that and see if I can get that to shine again um, but yeah that's it if you um, don't want to buy professional automotive clear because it's a couple hundred dollars you can get spray max 2k gloss cans that are almost just as good um, that's what a lot of people do and apparently have had really good results with but yeah so I just wanted to show the, the final finish you can see the dirt and the paint buff that out no big deal and one more shot of it in the sunlight because it really looks gorgeous when it's outside oh man Honestly, in the sun, you can't see any of the dirt at all. It's the fluorescent light that shows you all the dirt, and it. it looks literally pristine right now.